I'm Melly Still, and I'm the director. And I first became involved in Life Raft um, after working on From Morning to Midnight at the National Theatre a couple of years ago um, and reading all of Georg Kaiser's plays. It's a critique on um, the uh, kind of behaviours and ideas and thoughts that children pick up from their parents, especially um, belligerent ideas. Um, which of course perpetuates war and so on. So he's not critical of children's behaviour, but the, the kind of ideas that, that adults have. Some of them absurd and we might think ridiculous, but some that seem to make sense to adults. But actually when, when children are trying to make sense of them in, a, in um, uh, catastrophic situations, then we can actually see that they are probably quite ridiculous. I'm Max Johns, I'm the uh, designer on Life Raft Aesthetic Costumes. The the big thing that we really wanted the design to do from the beginning was just to give a sense of how small these children are in this vast environment that they find themselves lost in. And the Bristlovic main stage is the perfect place to do that because it's a really vast space. My name's Amy, I'm playing Anne and she's 13 on the boat. Uh, I'm Callum and I'm playing Sam, he's 12 years old and he's got marbles. I've never really performed on that big stage in theatre before, so it's really exciting for me. And it's, as I say, a really good opportunity to follow through with what I want to do, acting. I was very keen to work with Finn Kennedy. Now, he's written a lot of plays for young people, um, but I think this is his first play to be performed by young children for an adult audience, effectively. And, of course, they have endless ideas, and they're, they're you know, full of... Um, and lots of really interesting thoughts. What was really important was this isn't a young company production. This is a professional production, and they have to be at that standard of um, playing. And so we've been pushing them very hard, and they're really raising their game. You know, as, as Finn Kennedy says, it's not he hasn't written this for... Yes, he's written it for children, but he's not shifted any kind of um, level, for want of a better word. He said, you know, technically this is a really hard piece, um, emotionally and psychologically as well. So it is challenging, it's really challenging. But I mean, I, I just, I sort of love it. I mean, I don't know where the hours go, from, from 10 till 5 every day. It's just, you know, because there's just so much to do and they're so full of life and love and joy. Yeah, it's been fantastic. They're really good fun. Um, Melly's really inspiring. Um, and she's done a lot of these projects with young people before, she's worked in the theatre a lot before, um, so it's great to benefit from that experience and expertise, and the kids have thrown themselves into it with all the energy that they have, which is great. I mean, but being in the rehearsal room with them is, well, they're just full of endless energy, <laughs> as I'm sure you can imagine, which is lovely, ideas as well. So as soon as you ask them, they've, they've given so much thought to every single moment. It's great. It's a really good show. It's, it tackles a lot of uh, universal issues, but they have to be dealt with by children. So it's a really different take on uh, kind of stuff like teamwork and hunger and relationships. But it's all dealt with without the support of adults. So the children have to find out ways to sort out those situations, which is a really interesting take.